I'm back with another Clean With Me video and this week I want to show you how I clean and organize my hair and makeup station. Here's what you'll need. Castile soap, eye makeup remover, rubbing alcohol pads and rubbing alcohol, cotton rounds and cotton buds, compressed air, paper towel, glass cleaner, this oven mitt, we'll get to that in a second, microfiber cloth, paintbrush, and a bag for your empties. All right, here we go. We'll start off cleaning my hair brushes and hair accessories. These guys do need some TLC, and I'm not giving my hair brushes a full cleaning, but I am using this tool to remove all of that caked on gross hair from my hair tools. We have a video about how to actually clean your hair brushes properly, and I'll link that down below. Now I'll clean my hair tools. I'm just using a microfiber cloth dampened with water to give everything a good wipe down and tweezers to pull all of that crud out of the filter of my hair dryer. I also have a video about cleaning your hair tools. I will also link that down below. The paintbrush is really helpful for getting dust out of those crevices. So this is where I paint my face before I make a video. And at the top is where I keep my perfume collection. By the way, I am obsessed with perfumes. I'm removing everything, wiping the shelves with glass cleaner, wiping the bottles, and replacing them. Now I'll go through and remove all of the makeup from the various shelves. Then I'm picking up each piece of makeup and I'm giving it a good cleaning. I brought a variety of different tools to help me clean my makeup. If there's a bottle cap that's really gunky, I'll use a little bit of eye remover on a cotton swab to clean that up. Otherwise, paper towel or a microfiber cloth and glass cleaner will do. Now, if you want to get really handy, you can use makeup remover wipes. And this is great for cleaning off that gunked up makeup that's stuck, you know, in the lid or on the lip of your product. It's also a perfect time to sort through anything that you have that you don't use and you can put that in your empties bag. I'm using a makeup wipe here to clean my concealer corrector palette and rubbing alcohol on a cotton swab to get into those crusty little areas that I can't really clean otherwise. Tweezers are super easy to clean. Just soak a cotton round in rubbing alcohol and then tweeze that cotton round with your tweezers. Give them a good wipe and that'll be it. Obviously my mirror needs a good little clean too. If you have an eyelash curler, whether it's a heated one or if it's a manual one, put some eye makeup remover on a cotton round and simply give it a good wipe. I just clean the containers that I have with glass cleaner and an all-purpose cloth. If there's any makeup that's stuck at the bottom of that container, you can use a little bit of rubbing alcohol or a makeup remover wipe to get in there. I'm going to be cleaning most of my brushes, but for anything I'm not cleaning, I'll just give it a quick wipe and replace it. Now if it's something that needs to be disinfected, like scissors, I'll give that a wipe with a rubbing alcohol swab. Cleaning your mascara is a super important thing to do. Start off by wiping that brush head with paper towel and then soak it in hot water. Next, you're going to clean the area where it gets really goopy around the opening of the mascara tube. You'll just do this with a makeup remover wipe. If your mascara can't make a tight seal, it's gonna dry out faster. Let your brush soak for about an hour or so, then remove it, brush it off on a paper towel a few times, use a little bit of eye makeup remover if necessary to remove any crusty stuff, and you should be all good. For any powder compacts, you can do one of two things. You can use a little bit of compressed air to get any of that really nasty, gritty stuff out of those tight crevices, or you can use one of those paint brushes and just do a gentle, quick stroke to remove any of the powder. If you have a magnetic palette like this, they're very easy to clean, although they do get a little bit powdery. You might want to do it over a garbage can. Remove all of the different pots, give it a good cleaning with a makeup remover wipe, buff it with a dry cloth, that way you don't have any remaining liquid, and then wipe and replace each pot.
For palettes, again, if they're super dusty and powdery, I'm just gonna give them a good little wipe down and replace them. For any mirrors, you can just clean those with a little bit of glass cleaner on paper towel, nothing too fancy. If there's a lot of eyeshadow built up on the outside of your palette, you can use a makeup removing wipe just to give it a good cleaning and if you really need to, you can dig right into a tight area with your fingernail wrapped in the cloth. Ah, another magnetic palette. I'm sorry you guys have to live through this. This takes a long time, but these things can get crusty. So again, I'm cleaning it with a makeup remover wipe, cleaning the mirror with a little bit of glass cleaner and paper towel, giving it a good shine on the exterior, and then one by one, meticulously replacing all of my eyeshadow pans. Sharpeners get gross. I like to tap it over the garbage a few times. I get in there with a cotton swab, dipped in a little bit of rubbing alcohol, and I kind of like wedge everything out into the garbage. This takes a little bit of finagling, but it's worth it. What I'm doing here is going through my lipsticks, and I'm just popping them open quickly to check and make sure that they don't have any gummy, cruddy stuff or other colors layered on top. If they do, I'm using a rubbing alcohol swab, and I'm just giving them a quick wipe. That also helps disinfect the lipstick and and keep it lasting for a good long time. I'm using this opportunity also to clean up my pencils if they look sort of gross. Just doing that by rubbing the pencils along a piece of paper towel. Brush cleaning is the last part of this job. And you can see there is that textured silicone oven mitt. And the reason I'm using that is because rather than spending money on a brush cleaning mat, all you really need is something with silicone and a bit of texture. I put a little bit of Castile soap onto the oven mitt, run the water, swirl the brush over the mitt. That will help agitate the soap and get right into those bristles. Do it gently, but you'll see this really, really, really helps get your brushes super clean. I made this up because I didn't want to spend 40 bucks on a brush cleaning mat and I have to say, it worked like a charm. And that's it. My makeup and hair station looks gorgeous, which helps me look gorgeous, so it's all good. I hope you guys enjoyed this and picked up some tips. Let me know in the comments down below what is the next area you would like to see me clean. And, by the way, my nieces are really lucky because I'm giving them a whole bunch of makeup that I decided I am not using anymore. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.